Growing up, I was blessed to be raised by a family who saw the value of education. My mom and grandma were both elementary school teachers and my dad a college professor. Together, they fostered in me a love of learning that's only grown throughout my life. When I graduated from college, I took a job as an infant and toddler teacher at the Pine Forest Children's Center in Burlington South End. It was supposed to be just a placeholder until I found something more permanent. Even with my background, I still didn't see early childhood education as a real career, but instead more of a stepping stone to my grown-up job. However, once I saw the impact early childhood educators had on the children in their care, I realized I was right where I needed to be. And over 20 years later, I'm still there, now as the assistant director, still learning and growing along with the infants, toddlers, preschoolers, and my colleagues. Over time, I've learned that from birth to age five is when a child's brain is the most accepting of new knowledge, taking in every experience, every concept, and every memory, and using it all to build a strong foundation of skills that they will need to succeed in the future. I've realized how important it is for children to have a strong connection to someone who cares for them and supports them consistently. But I've also realized that many people still don't see the value of early childhood educators and the critical work they do to help foster the skills that children will need for the rest of their lives. As the Assistant Director of Pine Forest, I've seen firsthand how early childhood educators who love this career, who delight in the tenacity of a toddler or the curiosity of a preschooler, have had to make the difficult decision to leave the field and go into public school education or something else entirely, simply because early childhood education doesn't pay comparable salaries or provide adequate benefits. The work we do is not seen with the same respect and seriousness, and the compensation reflects that. I choose to advocate for early childhood education and early childhood educators because we shouldn't have to choose between making a livable wage in doing such critical work that we are passionate about. We need to keep fighting for a system that supports our early educators to do this rewarding and necessary work and a community that understands its importance. Until we all can see how much early childhood educators are needed, until we show early educators the same respect that we give to public school educators, and until we start offering comparable wages and benefits, we're going to have a hard time filling all of those empty positions in all of those quality childcare places across the state. While we've made great strides over the last year, we need to keep the momentum going in order to keep quality early childhood education as a priority and to continue advocating for comparable wages for early childhood educators in order to keep passionate people in the field and recruit future educators. Every day I wake up and go to work knowing that I'm making a difference in our future by giving the children in my community the chance to have the magical, loving, learning-enriched childhood that I had. I'm grateful to witness and be a part of all the amazing progress that's being made through Power to the Profession and Let's Grow Kids. And I'm hopeful that the momentum will continue. Please join me in my efforts to engage more Vermonters in understanding the value of early childhood education in order to garner support for future bills that align with the creation of a sustainable future for early childhood education across the state.